Welcome to the HPE AI Essentials Machine Learning Services Technical Demo. I'm Randy Thomason, and I'll be walking you through some of the machine learning services provided by HPE AI Essentials. Before we dive into the demonstration today, let's take a brief moment to recap where things are at with AI and some of its challenges. The AI revolution is disrupting every industry. From retail to financial services to healthcare, emerging AI technology is rapidly reshaping industry, and companies are struggling to stay on top of the wave and to realize returns from the investments they have made in AI technology. Yes, the potential rewards of AI are huge, but so are the challenges. With only about one in 10 AI pilot projects actually making it to production, the challenges are everywhere. AI is all about models and data, but which model? And how do I manage the model lifecycle, as well as the mountain of data needed by my AI solutions? And then there's the tools, lots of tools, tools that are often expensive to operate, complex to integrate, and difficult to maintain. How do I manage the ever-growing set of tools throughout their life cycle? And once I have a handle on the data, models, and tools needed for my AI solutions, how do I make them scale so that I can handle explosive user growth and new use cases? And as I scale my AI investments over time, how do I manage the cost so that my investment is predictable and sustainable over the long term? Because at the end of the day, it's all about faster time to value and the freedom to rapidly support emerging business needs. There are lots of challenges and enterprises everywhere are looking for solutions. Solutions that are simpler to operate and maintain while providing faster time to value. Solutions that scale with growing needs and a changing set of technologies. Solutions that provide enterprise grade security that is built in and not just bolted on as an afterthought. And finally, solutions that have predictable cost so that companies can effectively manage their AI investments. HPE's Private Cloud AI is the solution to meet these challenges. HPE Private Cloud AI, part of the NVIDIA AI Computing by HPE portfolio, is a turnkey, scalable, and AI-optimized private cloud designed to accelerate AI adoption and deployment while ensuring data remains under enterprise control. It combines NVIDIA accelerated computing, networking, and software with HPE's high-performance compute, storage, and the HPE GreenLake Cloud, together with curated services for MLOps, data pipelines, orchestration, and processing. Today's demonstration focuses on the AI software and data infrastructure provided by NVIDIA AI Enterprise and HPE AI Essential Software. This middle layer of the HPE Private Cloud AI software stack provides the key platform, security, data analytics, and machine learning services needed to create, deploy, and manage AI solutions at scale. Now let's look at how machine learning engineers can use HPE AI Essentials in their day-to-day -day work. ML engineers often work with a wide variety of tools and data, that is, when they're not wrangling infrastructure. AI Essentials eases the burden of managing the infrastructure while making it easier for them to create, train, and deploy machine learning models. The scenario we'll walk through today is a typical day in the life of a machine learning engineer using HPE MLIS to package and deploy a machine learning model. First, we'll navigate to the data science tool screen by selecting tools and environments and frameworks from the left menu, and then select the data science tab. This displays a palette of data science tools currently configured in the platform. Out of the box, AI Essentials provides a rich set of tools, including Kubeflow, which is an open source machine learning platform designed to simplify the deployment and management of ML workflows on Kubernetes, MLflow, which is an open source platform designed to manage the machine learning lifecycle, encompassing experiment tracking, model packaging, as well as deployment, HPE MLIS, which is a machine learning inference software platform designed to accelerate the deployment 
and scaling of AI models and applications and that is particularly well suited to generative AI. HPE MLIS also leverages both Kubeflow as well as NVIDIA optimized inference microservices or NIMS for quick deployment of optimized AI microservices in containers. And these containers can be directly deployed using either the UI, a command line, or an SDK. And then also Ray, which is an open source distributed compute engine that's like Spark, but offering better task parallelism, whereas Spark excels at data parallelism. So now we're gonna go into the data engineering palette. And I'm gonna open the HPE MLIS UI. And you'll see that the default view provides a list of the deployments that are in this instance of MLIS, giving information such as the deployment name, its current status, the latest event, the associated Kubernetes namespace, packaged model, as well as the endpoint for interacting with that model. Our first step in creating a new deployment is to add a registry. Registries are basically a storage location that contains the package models and the deployments that I'm working with. To add a new registry, I select registries from the left menu which shows a list of the current registries defined in this instance. And then I click on the Add New Registry button in the top right. This displays the Add New Registry window where I supply a name, and a registry type. You notice that MLIS supports multiple registry types any storage solution that supports S3 protocol can be used as a registry within HPE MLIS. The four types of registry supported out of the box include S3, OpenLLM, NVIDIA NGC, as well as the HPE PFS registry type. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to select the OpenLLM and use Hugging Face as my endpoint or my registry. Now I'll just plug in my token and I can create my registry. You'll see now that my registry has been created and is now listed and ready for me to use. The next step in creating my deployment is to package a model. To do this, I select package models from the left menu. And again, you'll see that the list of current models that are defined in this instance of MLIS are listed, providing a model name, the status, and a variety of other information, including the registry used and the path to the model. To add a new one, I click on the Add New Model button in the top right. This displays the Add New Package Model window. Here I'll enter a name, a description if I want, and then next I'll define the storage characteristics for my registry. In this case, I want to select the registry I'm going to use. In our case, I'm going to use one of the, the Hugging Face registries. And then I have two choices, whether to use a model that's currently defined anywhere and hosted on Hugging Face, or I can pick a model that's already been vetted uh, from a list. I'm going to go for the purposes of this demo with a model that's been vetted and is currently in our list. So I'm just going to scroll down and pick up one of the smaller Facebook models. I can optionally specify a container image that is an alternate to the default that's provided with this model. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to go with the default, so I'll, I'll leave this blank. Next up, I define the resources that I want to have allocated or, or requested for this deployment, this model. You'll notice that there's a set of resource templates that are predefined by MLIS. These templates include both CPU only and GPU en enabled templates, as well as a custom template that allows me to specify my own resource settings. For the purposes of our demo today, I'm just going to select the GPU Tiny model. 
this sets the CPU to one, gives me 10 gigabytes of RAM, and allocates a single GPU for use with my model. Finally, I can select and enter any environment variables that are required or command line arguments that are needed uh, as part of packaging and later deploying my model. At this point, I'm ready to create my model, so I'll just click the Create Model button. And you'll see that my model has now been added and is now staged, which means ready for use, but it hasn't been deployed yet. The next step in the process is to actually create a new deployment using the model that I've packaged. So to do this, I click on the deployments menu on the left of the screen, go over to the top right and click create new deployment. Here I give the deployment a name. Select the model that I want to use for this deployment. Then I also have an option to define infrastructure, in this case security settings, for the endpoint. You'll notice that in this case it is grayed out and pre-selected as HPE MLIS requires secured access to all my endpoints. Next up, I can define the scaling characteristics for my deployed model. And again, MLIS provides a set of scaling templates, including both fixed and scalable topologies varied by both concurrency and request per second, as well as a custom template where again I can specify my GPU, RAM, and, and other parameters uh, specific to my needs. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to select Fixed 1. And again, this is just fixed to a single instance without any auto-scaling targets. Finally, I can specify any environment variables that I need, as well as command line arguments required in order to create this deployment and be able to interact with it. When I'm finished specifying any of these variables or arguments, I click done and that deploys my model. And you'll see that it's listed and currently showing it and deploying. Now to interact with my model and define access tokens so that users can interact with my model, I'll just click the ellipses, open, and then go over to users. From here, I can add user access API tokens to allow other users to interact with my model. And that's a simple process of selecting users that are defined within AI Essentials. In this case, I'll pick Guido and I'll just uh, create a token for him. As you can see, I've, he's got one that doesn't expire, in addition to Daniel and myself who have tokens that expire in approximately 60 days. Because HPE MLIS leverages Kubeflow and KServe specifically to serve up and deploy the models, I have another option of interacting with my deployment by going out to the data science tools, going to model serving, and then viewing my endpoints and working with them from the Kubeflow UI. If I select my deployment, you'll see that there's a range of information available for me to, to use to manage this deployment, including the details of the deployment, associated log files that provide the log information for this deployment, any events, and as well as being able to view and edit the YAML for the deployment itself that deploys it into the Kubernetes cluster. And at this point, with my endpoints deployed, it's ready to be used. And there you have it. Without a doubt, the AI revolution is changing the face of business. And today's data scientists and ML engineers work in an ever-changing environment with a wide variety of data and technology. They need robust tools and services to help them package, deploy, and interact with machine learning models. HPE AI Essentials, a part of the HPE Private Cloud AI, 
provides a rich set of machine learning services to help data scientists and ML engineering teams meet these challenges. This concludes today's demonstration on HPE AI Essentials. I want to thank you for your time and invite you to reach out to me with any comments or questions. Also, be sure to check out our websites for NVIDIA AI Computing by HPE and HPE Private Cloud AI. Thank you.